Hi folks, it's Max from uh, GalaxyTabHacks.com. So we've got Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean ROM CM10 for your Galaxy Tab 10.1. Um, this one is much better than the one I last time I, we tried. Um, this one actually comes with the camera working. Camera works, yes. And the first time you run it, it might run a little bit slow, uh, but it should still work fine. And video works. Video sometimes gets a little bit laggy, but um, the actual video is not going to affect it, so it's fine. And so long as it's working, I'm sure you don't mind it. And again, the first time you run this, it might um, lag a little bit when you stop the video. And let's go to the front facing camera. And uh, that takes a little bit. It, there's a little bit of lag for the camera and the camcorder because this is still kind of a beta version, I guess. But they do work. It just, um, you know, a little bit laggy. Not, not too bad. The front camera works really well. And I don't know why it's not coming up here. Come on. Yeah, it just takes a while. Um, but other than this, it's it's a very, very good, very, very good ROM. Actually, let's just switch back out. There you go. Um, so it is a little bit laggy when you're switching, but the actual uh, the front camera works just fine. And we can do stuff like, hey, hey, how are you doing? How are you doing? And let's try the camera. So the front camera has no lag, just the back camera. And let's make sure uh, the photos we took are playing and the video is actually working. All right, that's working. Uh, the back camera works. Video sometimes gets a little bit laggy, but um, the actual video is not going to affect it, so it's fine. Oh, you know what? It does get a little bit affected there. Um, so the rear camera still needs a little bit of work since this is still a uh, work in progress. It's not perfect, um, perfect, perfect, but but it's kind of working. So you know, not a huge deal. But everything else is working pretty flawless. Um, the web browsing, it's going to be a lot faster than your typical uh, TouchWiz round. And also, you can overclock it. Uh, let's go into settings and let's look at some of the stuff you can do with Android uh, 4.1.2 Jelly Bean. And also, you'll see here, um, uh, let's go look at performance. So, go ahead and go to performance and if you want to get the most out of this this ROM, go ahead and overclock it to 1.4 gigahertz or 1400 megahertz. And Governor Interactive is just fine. That's probably the best one for this. And uh, there's a bunch of settings you can mess with, like the launcher, home screen. You can change the number of the grid size. Uh, I've got it at the max maximum, seven by seven, and also home screens, number of home screens, uh, search bar, resize any widget. This is great. Um, I've got it actually. I'm actually using that. So now I, the Gmail usually only goes so far, but now I can actually, you know, resize it. Oh, let me show you an example that you know does not use a um, does need one. So let's say like a Facebook widget. I don't know. Well, let me just tell you that if you get the Facebook widget, it's not resizable usually, but you, now you can resize it all the way across the screen if you want to. Uh, let's go back to settings and uh, let me show you some more stuff. Uh, interface, lock screen. Uh, with the lock screen, you can also show, you can change the uh, the shortcuts up to four. Go like this, go like this, go like this. And uh, find your favorite application such as Gmail. Now you got it, make sure you hit save. And uh, now your lock screen should have um, Gmail. Yeah, there you go. Um, so that's really nice and also in lock screen you can also change all of this uh, and also get weather widget this is nice display weather uh, let's choose make sure you set a location otherwise you won't know let's try San Francisco CA it might take a little while to uh, for it to work but it will eventually work and also this is nice too calendar display next event event calendar 
So I'm going to pull all my calendar for the next whole week so I know what to do. Um, kind of use my TAP 10.1 as a uh, you know digital calendar. Uh, reminders, nah, that's fine. All right, and the shortcuts and themes. You can get a bunch of themes. Um, go find like CM10, CM9 themes on Play Store. Install it. It will show up here. You can change your theme easily. Uh, system status bar. A uh, show notification counts. If you do that, you'll get a little thing there. You'll see um. You'll see there. I get actual numbers of how many notifications I have. So. That's kind of nice and uh, could be useful. It is very useful. Notification drawer. You can add a bunch of different toggles. You can like add LED flashlight. Um, now, where is that? Notification toggles. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, there we go. Um, toggles, where, there you go. Now you can go like this and turn the flash on. Oh, that one's not working. <laughs> I don't know why, but but anyway, you can. This is more useful for uh, phones, smartphones that have CM10 running, but still kind of an extra option there. Uh, other than that, also this ROM supports USB charging, so that's good. And also, if you if you have trouble connecting it to your computer, this is what you got to do. Uh, you have to go to storage and hit this menu button up here, and make sure go to USB uh, computer connection. Make sure MTP is on. It's off by default. And when you connect it to your computer, you're not gonna get, um, you, it's not gonna connect as a disk drive until you do that. So go ahead and do that, and uh, you should be fine. Uh, but looking pretty solid. I mean, it's not super super fast, but it's definitely faster than uh, a TouchWiz based ROM. So definitely another great choice, and I'll have an update when this gets even more stabler. Uh, so again, everything just pretty much works really well, except for the camera. The real camera works. Just gets all little, you know, iffy when you take videos. So, check it out. It's available now for your uh, Galaxy Tab 10.1 Wi-Fi, which I have here, and also Galaxy Tab 10.1 3G, also T-Mobile Galaxy Tab 10.1, also Verizon Galaxy Tab 10.1, and also for 10.1 uh, V. The model numbers are this one is the Wi-Fi uh, Wi-Fi version. This is the P4 Wi-Fi. If you have a 3G version, it's going to be P4. And if you have a, a T-Mobile version, it's going to be P4 T-Mo. Uh, if you have a Verizon version, it's going to be P4 VZW. And also, if you have a t uh, one of the newer 10.1 V, the the one they released because of the the uh, lawsuit, they changed the something. But it's pretty much the same tablet. Um, that one is called the P3. So anyway, check those out. Download it. Install it. Let me know what you think of this ROM, and uh, I'm going to go try other ROMs on my other other phones. Anyway, thanks, you guys. Uh, have a great day. If you have a Galaxy Tab 10.1, as always, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxytabhacks.com. We update you with ROM of the Week uh, once every, like, two weeks, and uh, also it's a great way for you to get in contact with me and others if you have trouble with your tablet. And uh, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe on up there and uh, stay high on Android. Yeah. And see y'all later. Uh.